A blessed day to you all my sports to the bone people. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for tuning in. So as we prepare to watch West Indies taking on England, I have the head-to-head -head between the two teams. Now West Indies, they are going in search of a third T20 title. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit. Plus, we see where Nicholas Puran, he was speaking to the media after becoming the leading run scorer for West Indies in T20 internationals. You know, he spoke about Chris Gill setting the pace and the fact that he wants to continue entertaining the fans. So, we're going to zoom in on that. Plus, shifting over to New Zealand, we see where Kane Williamson, he has decided not to take up a new central contract. And, you know, he has also stepped down as T20 and ODI captain. So I have a little article here that I'm going to be reading. So just give a listening ear until the end. The comment section is open. You can let me know what you think in the comment section. All right. So let us start off here with this head-to-head -head, um, where West Indies and England is concerned. Now, the two teams, they first played each other in 2007. Talking about T20 cricket now. They first played each other in 2007. And based on the website that I'm taking it from here, Sportskeeda, uh, the two teams, they have played 28 T20 international games. And, you know, this is the latest update. This is saying, uh, this was updated on the 5th of June, 2024. So I guess this is the latest one. So both teams, they have 28 games between them. Now, we're still is. They are actually leading um, in that. Uh, so we have 17 victories. And England, they have 11. Yes, so 17 victories to West Indies and 11 for England. As I said earlier, the first T20 international um, game um, was in 2007. As a matter of fact, it was on the 28th of June, 2007. The West Indies team, they won that by 15 runs. And based on what I'm seeing here, the last T20 game between the two teams, West Indies, they won that one by um, four wickets. And this was on December 21, 2023 at the Brian Lara Stadium. So the stats looking good in our favor, 17 to 11. I am hoping tomorrow, it well, today, I am hoping later on today, it will become uh, 18 to 11. So, you know. I just wanted to share that with you all and you know i'm hoping as i said we will be able to extend that all right moving on to someone that is expected to help us extend that run nicholas puran now puran was speaking i am actually taking this one from the espn creek info website so all credit goes to them now, Puran was speaking about becoming the West Indies' leading run scorer in T20 internationals. You know, he gave some credit to Chris Gale for paving the way. As we know, Chris Gale, he is or was the master when it comes on to T20 cricket. I have always said that, in my opinion, Chris Gale is the greatest to have played the T20 format. Right, um, obviously the best batsman to have played the format, and you know I have always said when it comes down to bowling, it's between Dwayne Bravo and Malinga. But let us get into what um, Puran is saying. So this is Puran here, and I quote: "It's a proud feeling. Uh, it's a proud feeling. What is happening now is only because of my hard work and belief in myself." Right? End quote for now. So, Puran is just letting us know that, listen, this is not happening by chance. This is not happening by mistake. It's a lot of work uh, behind all of this. Now, he went on to say, and I quote, Gail set the platform for us 
I'm just really happy that I can continue to entertain the people and take over where he has left. End quote. Right? T20 cricket, as we know, entertainment, fun, fast pace. So Puran is just looking to keep the thing going and making sure that the fans are well entertained. So that is what Puran was saying. Um, that is what he said after becoming the leading run scorer for West Indies in T20 internationals. All right, moving on to some news overseas now. New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand, they didn't make it through their group, right? New Zealand, they were in our group. And as you are aware, West Indies and Afghanistan made it out. So I am taking this here from the ESPN Creek Info website. All credit goes to them. I'm going to... I'm going to do some reading in this one, so just bear with me. So, the article, well, the, <laughs> the headline says, Kane Williamson, refu uh, Kane Williamson walks away from contract, central contract. Now, the article starts and it says, In a shocking turn of events, talisman K, uh, for New Zealand, Kane Williamson, has elected to turn down a New Zealand central contract, limiting his international involvement to just test matches this upcoming summer for the Black Caps. So, you know, he has decided not to do the T20 and the ODIs right now. Um, he's just focusing on some test cricket. They say, following an unsuccessful campaign in the T20 World Cup in 2024, where New Zealand crashed out in the group stages, Williamson has relinquished captaincy in both T20 internationals and the ODI format. They said New Zealand uh, cricket confirmed the news and said that um, Kane Williamson also reemphasized his long-term commitment to the Black Caps in all three formats, despite declining a central contract for the 2024-2025 period. Now, based on what they are saying, Williamson remains available for the Black Caps, who will play eight World Test Championship matches before Christmas and, you know, attend the ICC Champions Trophy Tournament in Pakistan February to March of 2025. So he's set to play those eight um, games and will be representing them in the Champions Trophy. Um, you know, it's tough because Trent Bolt... He actually announced that he will be walking away and it seems as if Kane Williamson is taking up a lighter role. So, you know, um, this is what Williamson had to say uh, about all of this. And I quote, helping, uh, helping push the team forward across all formats is something I'm very passionate about and something I want to keep contributing towards. However, Pursuing an overseas opportunity during the New Zealand summer means I'm unable to accept a central contract. Playing for New Zealand is something I treasure and my desire to give back to the team remains undiminished. End quote. Right? So, he's deciding to go and pursue overseas opportunities. And when we talk about overseas opportunities, we know we are talking about T20s and T10s. A lot of people would say that um, Kane Williamson is a red ball specialist. But, you know, um, I guess he is at a point in his career where he is just winding down and he's deciding to make uh, decisions that will benefit his family more than just uh, merely entertaining the fans. But that is pretty much it, my viewers and subscribers. Going to leave it right here for now. And we will definitely touch base again before the West Indies team takes the field later on tonight. Bless.